Hello all, welcome to this new lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed about the difference between compile time error, runtime error, and logical error. Right. So in this lesson, we are going to discuss about keywords in C. Okay. So it's a very simple lesson, but it's a very important lesson. Okay. So let's discuss. Now, what do you mean by keywords in C? Right. So keywords are predefined reserved words in C language, and each of which is associated with specific features. Right. So these words help us to use the functionality of C language. Right. It means so keywords are few, you know, a predefined, okay, special words uh, used in C language syntax. So which will help us achieve some specific task. Okay. Say, for example, if suppose you want to create an integer variable, right, then you can make use of the keyword int. Similarly, if suppose you want to uh, create a, uh, a double variable, then you can make use of the keyword double, right? Or if you want to create a variable where you want to store only positive values, then you can make use of the keyword unsigned. Okay. So similarly, if suppose you want to run a loop, right, then you can make use of the keyword for, or if you want to have a condition checking, then you can make use of the keywords like if and else, right? So these are the keywords uh, which has been assigned a special meaning by the uh, C language. Okay. And you can use this to achieve some specific task, right? So that is the reason. Okay. So as I've told here, they have special meaning to the compilers and therefore you must not use these keywords as variable names, right? So because these keywords have already been given some meaning, right? So when you use these keywords as part of your program, uh, the compiler understands that it has to do certain tasks associated with that keyword, right? So that is the reason you cannot make use of these keywords as your names, right? The moment you use keywords as your variable names, then the compiler will actually throw you an error. Okay, so let me show that to you. Okay, so before that, okay, I'm going to show you all the keywords that are you know available in C. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, these are the 32 keywords that are supported by uh, C language. Okay, auto, break, case, care, const, continue, default, do, double, else, enum, extern, float, for, go to, if, int, long, register, return, short, signed, size of, static, struct, switch, type def, union, unsigned, void, volatile, while, right? So these are the 32 keywords in C language and uh, all these keywords have given some special meaning and each and every keyword has uh, some specific task to be, uh, you know, done. Okay. So these, uh, out of these keywords, okay. So you cannot use any of these keywords as your variable names or in fact, you cannot name, you cannot use these keywords to even give names to any of your identifiers, right? So you cannot use this to name your variables. You cannot use this to name your functions. You cannot use this to name your, you know, uh, structure variables or objects or something on all these kind of stuff. Okay. So having said that, let me show you a simple program where I'm going to use these variables. I mean, these keywords as my uh, variable names and let's see what the compiler has to say. Okay. So let's quickly get into that. So this is my dev C++ ID. Okay. So I've written a C program. Okay. So as you can see, uh, okay. As you can see, switch is one of the keyword. Let me show that over here. Okay. So uh, where is switch, switch, switch. Yes. As you can see here, switch is one of the keyword. As you can see here, switch is one of the keyword. And as I told you that you cannot use switch as your variable name. I mean, as I told you, you cannot use keyword as your variable name and switch being one of the keyword. Okay, so we are not supposed to use switch as a variable name, but I am trying to create a variable uh, with a name as switch. Okay, let me see what happens if I compile this program. Okay, so I'm compiling it. So when I compile this program, as you can say, it says expected primary expression before switch. Okay, so it indicates that this line has a problem and it has resulted in a compile time error. Okay, so uh, so this is the reason that we are not supposed to make use of keywords as variable names. Okay, so having said that, so hope you uh, learned what do you mean by keywords in C language and throughout this, you know, course, I would be making use of different keywords. Okay. So whenever it is needed, I will be making use of those keywords. So you will understand what is the meaning of different keywords. Okay. So having said that, okay. So uh, if you like this lesson, then uh, please don't forget to like the video. Also, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of my no updates on the uh, you know, upcoming programming series. Okay. So having said that, meet you in the next lesson where I'll be discussing about the rules for creating variables. Okay. So until then, take care. Bye-bye. Love you all so much.